Hello everyone, my name is Meiru Bale. I am Assistant Professor in Civil Department, WIT Solapur. So today we are going to design a flocculator unit of circular clariflocculator. So what is the learning outcome? At the end of this session, students will be able to design a flocculator unit in circular clariflocculator of WTP, that is water treatment plant. What is clariflocculator? It is a combination of flocculation and clarification unit or sedimentation tank in a single tank. There are basically two tanks where inner tank serves as a flocculation unit or flocculation basin and outer tank serves as a clarifier or sedimentation tank. In clariflocculator, water gets admitted into the flocculator unit first, then uh, the water is mixed slowly and dispersed by rotating paddles which are provided in the flocculator so as to obtain a stable flock and whatever impurities which are present in the water get entrapped in the flock. So the water containing flocks it will be moved out from the flocculator unit to the sedimentation tank where these flocks are going to get settled down at the bottom of the tank and whatever the supernatant which is present above will be moved out from the periphery of the sedimentation tank. So this is the diagram which you can see where the clariflocculator is present where you can see in between that the flocculation unit is provided. Fine. So water will be uh, forming large amount of flocks here. You can see the paddles are there and outer tank is serving as a sedimentation tank or clarifier. So this is a typical sketch where this is the flocculator and outer part is the uh, sedimentation tank unit and at the bottom you can see scrapper is provided. So whatever flocks which are getting uh, admitted at the bottom of the uh, flocul uh, clarifier it will be pushed into the uh, sludge outlet from where the sludge will be taken out. And the upper part you can see it is kind of a bridge where any person can reach uh, onto the clariflocculator for uh, watching a proper maintenance or uh, for proper operation of clariflocculator is happening or not. So this is the outer what we can say the clear uh, picture where you can see this is the flocculator where paddles have been provided and so these are the rotary arms which are making this paddles rotate along with that this is the outer part which is your uh, clarifier where you can see the scrappers are provided. Now how to design a clariflocculator or what we can say in a specific way a flocculation unit. So in this part we are going to take an example where we have to treat 300 meter cube per hour of water in the circular clarifier. So in, the, in this presentation the design of flocculator unit will be there where we are focusing on the three parts that is design of flocculator unit uh, then uh, power input which is provided to the paddles and what will be the size and number of paddles to be provided in the flocculator. So at first we have to find the dimensions of flocculator unit where we know Q will be 300 meter cube per hour. So we have to convert it into the meter cube per minute. So how we can do that basically divided by 60 that is 300 meter cube per hour divided by 60 which is to convert uh, hours to minutes. So automatically it will be coming about 5, uh, 5 meter cube per minute. As we have to consider few things for the first that is velocity gradient we have to assume velocity gradient to be uh, 30 per second we can take between uh, 10 to 75 per second and we also have to assume gt to be 4 into 10 raise to 4 we can assume between 10 raise to 4 to 10 raise to 5 in values. Now we know gt which we had assumed earlier so we can easily calculate the t value that is the retention time. So by putting it how we can write it 30 into t will be coming about 4 into 10 raise to 4. By doing the calculations and converting it into the minutes we will be getting about 22.22 minutes. So as we know the detention time and we know the discharge we can easily calculate the volume. What is the formula? V is equal to Q into T. So 5 into 22.22 minutes. So automatically it will be coming about 111.1 meter cube. So let's assume capital D to be the diameter of flocculator and assume the depth of flocculator to be 4.5 meters. We can keep between 3 to 4.5 meters that is the range. By doing so 
as we know the area that is pi uh, d square by 4 which will be equal to volume by depth and we know the volume that is 1 1 1.1 1, 1. 1 divided by the depth that is 4.5 which we had assumed that is the depth that is of water level not the freeboard by putting into it we can get the value of d that is 5.6 meters and providing the freeboard we can keep between 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 meters so we are taking 0 0.2 meters so what will be the total depth it will be 4.7 that is 4.5 plus 0 0.2 meters that is 4.7 so provide that tank having the diameter which we had found out earlier that is this part that is 5.6 meters and total depth that is 4.7 meters into the circular clarifier now as we had found out the dimensions let us calculate the power so what is the power so we can write the power as p is equal to g square into volume into mu but for that we have to know the value of mu that is the viscosity of water so at the temperature of 25 degrees celsius that is the standard temperature and for that temperature we can uh, we can know the viscosity of water which is known that is 0 0.89 into 10 to minus 3 newton seconds per meter square that is the standard value so we know the view we know the uh, v that is your volume and we had assumed the g by which we can easily calculate the power so power will be 30 square which we had assumed earlier multiply by 111.1 that is your volume multiply by 0 0.89 into 10 raise to minus 3 which we had taken from the uh, this part so automatically you will get the power to be 88.99 watts for summing up 0 0.089 kilowatt fine now as we had calculated the power also let us go to the third step that is how to calculate number of uh, paddles and their sizes we have been assumed that the total area of paddles is always taken between 10 to 25 percent of the vertical cross sectional area of the tank so in the tank if uh, when we are cutting uh, what we can say the flocculator unit though it is circular in nature but if we are cutting into the vertical section we will get a rectangular form so automatically it will become d that is capital d or diameter multiplied by the depth that is effective depth now we in that area in that uh, rectangular area your area of paddle should be in between 10 percent to 25 percent that is what it means so let us assume the total area of paddles to be 20 percent that is in between 10 to 25 percent you can assume any value so as i am assuming 20 percent of the vertical cross section how i can write 20 divided by 100 multiplied by that rectangular area that is diameter multiplied by depth so this is 5.6 and d that is small d or the total depth that is 4.7 by putting into it we can get the value about 5.26 meter square now let us assume there will be four paddles and let's b will be the width of the paddle so and also provide the clearance of uh, what we can say paddle from the top and bottom to be uh, 0 0.4 meter fine so we can easily calculate what will be the depth how, how we can do that total depth that is 4.7 minus two times that is this is one and this is second that's why two times the clearance space that is two into multiply by 0 0.4 which you can see it here by which we will get the total depth that is 3.9 meters or 390 centimeters so that will be the depth of the paddle now how to calculate its width so to calculate the width we can use the basic formula that is total area of paddles will be equal to number of paddles multiply by width into depth so we know the total area which we had calculated earlier that is 5.26 meter square and we had assumed there will be four paddles so it will be equal to 4 multiplied by b that is the assumed width multiplied by 3.9 meters which we had calculated earlier that is its depth by which we can get the value of capital b to be 0 0.33 meters or 33 centimeters so basically how the paddle will be looking now the depth will be 390 and the width will be 33 centimeters now as we had said that the size there will be four paddles and size of the paddles is uh, 33 centimeters its width and its depth will be 390 centimeters but as we had cut out into vertical cross section area that's why it can be looked like this in the sectional view 
and in the plan view you can do you can use this type of a uh, view now we can say that the paddles are divided into just a one uh, axis so if i want to uh, what we can say to make sure to increase the efficiency of uh, flocculation unit i can come up with the two axis so this is one axis if you can uh, go with this or right hand side diagram i can put up in two axis horizontal and vertical now by doing so your area is also divided into half so automatically to make the area that is fixed that is 5.6 meter square i will reduce the width to the half so that area will become the same so when i am putting the two size axis it will be looking like this in the sectional area and its width will be divided into two that is 33 divided by 2 that is 16.5 centimeters and this is your rotary arm which is attached to two paddles so how how i can write it so provide four rotary arms uh, which is attached to two paddles why four rotary arms see at the upper part one arm at the bottom part one arm but this is for one axis so for for one axis there are two rotary arms for another axis there are two rotary arms so there are four rotary arms each will be attached to two paddles so one one rotary arm is attached to two paddles that is what it means so width will be becoming half to make sure the area will remain same so what will be the uh, area dimension that is 390 cm that is the depth and width will be 16.5 so let us give the thickness of paddle so which is common which is present in the market that is 5 cm so what will be the final dimension of the uh, paddle 390 cm multiplied by uh, 16.5 cm multiplied by 5 cm so let us have few review questions first clarif flocculator is a combination of flocculation and clarification unit in a single tank whether this statement is true or false second what is the total area of paddles in the clarif flocculator that is of dash of vertical cross sectional area of the tank then minimum depth of the flocculator tank in the fl clarif flocculator is uh, let us have its review answers for the first this statement is true second total area is always between 10 to 25% for the paddles in the clary flocculator of vertical cross sectional area of the tank and the third one is minimum depth in the flocculator unit is always given about 3 meters so these are the references i have used to make this ppt thank you